So I'm headed to uh, Missouri. Uh, we picked up a farm this past year, or, or, or about four or five months ago, with my good friend Adam Gander from Gander Outfitter. And Dad's there now. Dad's been there a couple of days now. So I'm headed up to meet him. But it's a cool, crisp 28 degrees this morning. Um, I just got my cup of coffee down there, if you can see that. Got my egg McMuffin. So I'm ready to go, but the weather conditions look pretty doggone good. I don't know a lot about the uh, the wind speed or anything about that, but as far as temp temperatures, uh, we got temperatures in the mid 50s, low low 50s to the uh, low to mid 30s. So not not a bad week at all weather wise. Um, um, it looks like so I'm pretty pumped just to get out there, but it's a new farm So I don't know much about it. Uh, it does look pretty good. The aerials look good um, but uh, It'd be it'd be fun just getting out there just to see what, what you know how, how it lays and uh, just to kind of get acclimated to uh, the movement and uh, All that good stuff. So I'm headed that way. Um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Home sweet home for uh, about nine days. Dad's got the truck in there. See the setup. Yeah. So right there is where we'll be sleeping for about nine days. Sweet. So it's day one here in Missouri, and uh, I had to put a new setup. You know how it is. It's uh, it's around 38 or so, I think, or 40, and you come in wearing two or three layers. Then about every 15 or 20 minutes, you take a layer off because you're burning up. But we're set up um, right now. Um, I think we've got a northwest wind. The wind's been so slow, it's hard. It, it's been so slow, it's hard to tell where it's coming from. But uh, anyhow, we got a good wind. Where I'm hunting right now, I'm hunting between a cornfield and we got a brassicas, a brassicas patch up on the hillside and I've got a little marshy area here and they're, they're traveling back and forth so I'm hoping I can get, I can catch some action here it's my first day here the first day on the on the new farm and uh, I got my fingers crossed so I gotta get quiet but it looks really good I may not see anything but it looks good day one here in Missouri Northeast Missouri
still have a little bit of light left. Uh, as you guys saw, I had that little nine point to come in. A decent nine point, maybe 120 some odd inches. But he came in. And then that, I'm glad it wasn't a huge buck. Because that, that coyote, that coyote came in. And uh, he uh, scared the buck off. I was going to shoot the coyote, but he got wind of me and bolted too, so, and then that was cool. And then I had two eagles to fly in and land. Well, one kept flying. He circled around twice. I thought I think he saw me, and the other one landed about 50 yards from me in a, in a tree. I think I may have got a small snippet, a video of him before he flew off, or she, whatever it was. But pretty cool. So I've got a little bit of light left. So I'm going to be quiet, but not too bad for a first day sit here in Missouri, 2019. So it's about 5:45 in the morning here in Missouri, day two. I just got in the stand. I got my iPhone here, trying to record. I want to make this, this short and sweet. Um, everything looks great. Temps are great. Wind seems great. Everything seems great. So um, I'm hoping day two will be a decent day. So, all right. Let's see what happens here. It's day two in the afternoon here in Missouri. Um, I'm hunting a little area on the front side of the farm. And uh, it's a good looking little area here. It's kind of like a little funnel. There's some soybeans uh, well, in behind me here. And uh, I've noticed when I've walked the woods here I haven't seen a whole lot of vagrants, so I'm thinking that they're going to be hitting the beans. Um, at least that's my thought. That and browse. So, uh, but uh, I did see a decent buck earlier today driving on the on the four wheeler. I wouldn't shoot it, but I will say it was a great three and a half year old buck. So it's uh, <clears throat> probably a 135 class deer, really good brow time. So. Um, so I saw him and a few more does, but one thing I've noticed is I'm not seeing a lot of rut action right now. There, there's, we've seen just a handful of scrapes. They're not really responding to calls. So I'm gonna go back to food until I see some action. So that's the plan today. We shall see what happens.
so that was a pretty cool end today too uh, that buck looked like he was locked on that doe and I think they had to have been bedded down when I got here probably 50 yards from me because I know did not hear anything come through the, the woods and uh, I bet he saw me get up in the tree I wouldn't be surprised and just it didn't move because of her but either way they went up the ridge so I can get down now and I'll be back at it tomorrow may not work worth a toot but um, I didn't feel really good about the spot I was in this morning and I decided to do a little bit of scouting and I came up on a stand here uh, I don't know if Adam put, put this stand up or one of the other guys on the lease here um, but I really like the location all I have on me is my cell phone so if something were to come in here I'd have to use my cell phone to get as much as much footage as I can, and then I don't know what I'd do after that. After, you know, after the moment of truth might happen. But um, uh, so anyhow, I like the way it looks, and I'm going to sit here for about an hour or two. Um, so we'll see how this goes. All right. Yeah. Uh.
oh man, oh man. I knew that would happen. All I have on me right now is my, my cell phone. That doe came in, she was hot. I saw her coming in. That nine point I had on camera, he's a beautiful deer. Uh, people might say I'm crazy for passing him up, but uh, he, he needs one or two more years. And uh, I just know he's gonna be a stud one day. So I didn't want to shoot him. The other nine point came in, he was also a good deer. Uh, I can't tell if something else is coming in. And I think he's also gonna be a good deer. He's already a good deer, he'll be a fantastic deer. But uh, I think I had five or six different bucks. I didn't even get them all on camera. They came in chasing that doe. So I'm gonna sit right here right now. I'm hoping that some other, uh, maybe big granddaddy might come in behind because she is hot and that is a good sign. So, uh, but all I got on me is my cell phone. But this is what it's all about, guys. So if I don't have any luck, I could have probably slung an arrow with one or two of those deers. Um, but it's just not what I want. And I've got this lease um, for big deer, and I want to grow big deer on it. So you got to pass up the decent deer to kill giant deer. So, all right, I'll keep on sitting here with my cell phone. I just don't know if I can get the shot on camera. And if I don't, I apologize if I do get a shot. Um, but uh, it is what it is. So I'm headed out. Have any of you guys had this issue? Can you see those? What are these? Let's see if I can see those. Well, let me do it again. These, can you, those little things right there. Can you guys see that? What are they? I have got them all over my Sitka stuff here. I've got them on my jacket, all over my pants. Look at that. So I'm gonna be pe uh, picking these little, they look like little football tees with, they're like devil horn looking things here. So I'll be picking those off here the rest of the day, I think. It makes it kind of fun in the stand. But um, so uh, uh, with all that said, I'm headed back to uh, to pull, get some cameras and set some cameras out. I'm trying to decide where I'm gonna sit this afternoon, but that was that was pretty cool, uh, what happened a few minutes ago. And I, I gotta go pick up my real cameras. So I've got that, and I uh, hope the audio sounds halfway decent on the, the you know on the phone here. But overall, these iPhones do a pretty decent job. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna keep on picking these little suckers off and uh, get some food and get back at it. The rut looks like it could be kicking in, baby. Yeah. So this afternoon, I've decided to hunt a uh, stand on the northwest side of the farm here. Um, I'm covering some soybeans and a nice ridge that looks like it could be some good bedding. I've got a lot of sign behind me. And uh, it's calmed down. The wind was probably 20 miles an hour about two or three hours ago. And now it's calm, which is a good thing. So it's a good looking spot.
shitty light. Shitty light is it's just about done. I may have three or four more minutes and that'll be a wrap for tonight. It's, it's day four here, here on our, our uh, hunt in November, and if I were hunting for squirrels, I would have hit the mother load. And a lot of times I can tell the difference between a squirrel and a deer, but these, they've got their deer imitation down pat. So um, I'm hunting the same exact area that I hunted last night got a little creek bottom right in front of me and to, my, and to my left here I've got a ridge that uh, looks, looks like it was select cut at one time so it's pretty good bedding and I better be quiet because I think I hear something coming I can't tell it could be a squirrel Well, I don't know if I look any different tonight, but uh, I'm using a different camera. Um, it's my little Sony AX53. I've got a real bad back. Some of you guys may know that, but uh, sometimes it flares up on me, and it flared up on me earlier today. I think it was because of hanging a stand yesterday and then trying to get into another one. Um, I have about 60 to 70 pounds that I carry in on me when I, when I go hunt, uh, just with my film equipment. So. I, there was just no way I could do that so if I look different or whatever sound different uh, I'm using a different camera setup and I've got a little typically I have a Sony a6400 as my B camera and right now I'm running just a, a GoPro or a it's called a Yi action camera that I'm running and then the uh, smaller camera here so uh, I'm, I'll have to get used to the camera because of the little screen I'm looking at right now is so small that it's going to be hard to see the animal too, but it's, it's a good camera overall. It's just different, you know. It's not my Sony A7 III, which I normally run, but my, my, my lens alone runs probably two and a half or three pounds on that camera. So it's just uh, I had to cut any weight I could just so I could make it to the uh, to the stand and and hunt. So and I had two batteries. I thought they were both fully charged. One's basically dead, so I'm hoping one battery would do me because these little suckers. Uh, they tend to drain a little bit faster than my other batteries. So, with that being said, I'll let you kind of guys kind of see where I'm hunting right now. Uh, let me see if I can show you this. So, did you look at that? So, as you can see, um, I am hunting a. Uh, uh, ridge here that overlooks a small uh, I don't wanna, it's not a creek I guess you could call it a creek but it meanders all down through here it runs north to south of the farm um, so it's uh, it, it, it just looks good uh, the other day yesterday is where I saw that doe and the uh, five bucks were chasing that doe five or six bucks I can't remember so it's uh, it's a good looking spot and I'm gonna sit here today and see if I can't uh, or I'm trying to get myself in focus see if I can't see a little bit of action and if I do I'll have to try to use this camera that I'm not too accustomed to to uh, hope hopefully lay down some decent footage all right guys let's sit here and wait
Uh, uh, I think he caught some movement I made, probably, probably of me trying to get this seat to stand up and not fall back down. And uh, he spooked. So, but a pretty deer, man. That's bow hunting. I've got another hour or so left in here, but I don't know if I'll see anything now. But, oh man, that was close, close, close. All right, I'm gonna stand back up and get hunting again. I'm hunting where I hunted yesterday afternoon. I really do like this spot, so. Uh, it's warming up a little bit. Tomorrow it's calling for uh, 58 degrees. I don't know what, what it is right now. But it's definitely, definitely warmer today, so, you know. But the bucks ought to be on their feet. You know, I'm, I am seeing some bucks here and there, as you guys will have, have seen in the footage, but I still haven't seen a lot of cruising. Um, I mean, typically this time of year, you're going to see young bucks all over the woods. And, uh, you know, just scent checking and making the rounds, but I'm not seeing any of that. So, I don't know, it's kind of strange, but i got to be in the stand. I'm gonna keep on setting. Um, hopefully something might show up. Fingers are crossed.
Well, that was pretty cool. Um, earlier, that young nine point came in. He's a beautiful deer. He is going to be an absolute stud in two years. I mean, I wouldn't want that deer walking in front of me next year. He, he's going to be a killer deer. Hello, A point is the uh, same A point that came in last night. I don't know, I think I got it on camera. He bedded down right behind me too. But I had to turn the camera off midway through because he, he he stood in, in one spot. He's still right above me up here. He stood in one spot for probably eight or 10 minutes or longer. So my, my battery on my camera is getting low so I had to turn it turn it off. But pretty good night so far. Oh well, I'm, I'm about to head out. But uh, you know, if I don't get any, anything here in Missouri, and one thing I can say is I've got some pretty cool footage. Uh, so, I mean, I've uh, still got a few days left, two or three days left here. So, I'm just, I, one thing I will say real quick. It's going to be almost next to impossible for me to get a shot here. When these deer come in, when I grunt, uh, they're looking so hard. And they're so uh, antsy. And unsettled. And... I'll be on I it's just it's gonna be tough and I've got distances from anywhere from 10 yards all the way to 45 yards and it's just so hard to figure out you know to judge yardage and when they're coming in like that it's really tough to get your rangefinder on them and to film and all that good stuff so uh, but I enjoy this stuff so you know self-filming is crazy tough but man it's so much fun so anyhow I better shut up and uh, let uh, So it's the afternoon of the 6th, well, day 6. Um, I'm hunting the same back end. It's the northwest corner of the farm here. I've got a pocket of beans here. I've got what looks to be bedding um, to my right here. And, uh, um, I just know the deer are hitting, hitting the beans. Um, I don't know if it's at night or during the day. Uh, we, we saw some action a couple of days ago here, so um, uh, I'm just hoping that maybe a doe might come out here and, and uh, maybe she's she'll bring a buck with her. But um, man, it's been slow today. Holy smokes! I think the temps have hurt things too. It's, it's been pretty windy. <clears throat> I bet it was close to 20 miles an hour, 15 or 20 miles an hour this morning. And uh, that coupled with heat was not a good mixture. So, um, but tomorrow it should be cooling down. So I hope things change. But again, fingers crossed. This could be our last morning here in Missouri. I am um, in a beautiful, beautiful spot. I hope you can see some of that. I've got a lake. I don't know, probably. Uh, I can't tell how big it is. Maybe a 20 acre lake. Um, to my right, to my south, to my north, I've got a marshy area. Uh, there's a little spring that kind of kind of meanders through through that area. Right back, right back in there. And. Uh, um, on the north end of that spring. I've, I've seen a lot of action there. Um, I think you guys saw some, uh, I had the cell phone, which I'm using right now, uh, here a few days ago, and I saw some, uh, that window and those five or six bucks chasing her. But it's a beautiful morning. It's not crazy cold, but it's beautiful. Um, I'm gonna take a, ch a chance at this. I'm gonna sit here probably to around 12, 30 or one, and, uh, um, just keep hoping for the best.
Let's see if I can get it in focus here. Well, I hope I'm in focus. I can't see myself. The sun's so bright. All right. Um. All right. Well, window in addition to my uh, wonderful morning I've had. But she is down. The shot looked awesome. And uh, I'm one happy camper. I'm needing a lot of meat. About a year ago, well, last year, I was working outside on a project. And my... Uh, uh, I blew, I blew a bre breaker. I didn't realize it. I lost about 45 pounds of meat in the freezer. Man, it stunk. It was in the middle of summer. And uh, it took a day and a half to get it all cleaned. A speck of blood that much, you could smell from probably 20 feet away. But uh, she will be a fine addition to my freezer. And uh, I will make some jerky. And I'll cook some backstrap. And it'll be good. Yeah. I'm going to keep on sitting. And I saw her go down. And uh, hopefully a big boy might show up. Yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. White tail hunting. Whew. Just a beautiful morning to boot. Man, God, I'm telling you, I got a beautiful sunset. I got a beautiful lake over there. Um, I feel so blessed. We are just, I'm blessed I can climb up a tree. I'm blessed that I can draw my bow back. I'm blessed that I can see. Uh, I've had a rough week. Anything that can go wrong has gone wrong. And sometimes I get all irritated and what have you. And my dad had to bring me into a perspective last night. He said, son, you just got to calm down. I was working on a stand yesterday and, you know, every, the saw got stuck. Everything got stuck. I'm sure you guys know what I'm, what I'm talking about. But I kept having all these issues. And uh, I was, I'll be honest, I was mad. I was frustrated. I was sweaty and hot. And, uh, uh then I, you know, you gotta realize, man, at least I've got feet to climb a tree. At least I've got hands to grab onto something. A lot of people don't have that, so I better not complain too much. Uh, God is awesome, and uh, I just want you guys to know that. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, guys, I think we're, we're gonna call it a week uh, from here in Missouri. Um, uh, we've got a full moon and the weather has uh, turned probably about 20 degrees warmer uh, today. And so the movement was uh, kind of slow, but uh, most of the, of the movement too was uh, late morning. And I've got to be gone uh, around 10, 10 a.m. in the morning to, uh, to get back home. And uh, so uh, with that being said, I just don't see it really uh, worth my while trying to uh, sit in the morning and you know how it is when you got everything to get out. But, uh, uh, but you know, we had a good week overall. Uh, we didn't the Big Ten didn't didn't uh, show up, but uh, With that being said, you know, I got some pretty good footage. I learned the property a little bit better uh, The next time we come we can fine-tune some things even more but uh, yeah um, I mean, I can't I can't really complain. I got to spend time with dad, which is always good. So uh, uh, Yeah, it was a good week, uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching Thank you so much for uh, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, uh, if you will. We would sure appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we can uh, come out with some good content. I hate that we didn't get anything, but that's hunting, and uh, that's the way it goes. But remember, God loves you guys, and um, keep, uh, keep up all the good work that you guys do. And I hope you all have a phenomenal uh, season yourself. Thanks.